These are a nuisance. But if you figure out which direction they're attacking from, you can evade. Or if there's a wall nearby, you can kind of pin them against the wall and defeat them. But otherwise, bees are nothing more than a nuisance, since they only take one hit. Though I suppose a large swarm of them could be annoying. It's kind of slow. I had plenty of time to get out of the way. They're not going to be nearly as bad as they were in the other game. In fact, the fighting in general is a lot easier than the other game, I'd say. favorite thing here. All one survived. The one I hit in the front. He takes less damage. And so he got revenge for me killing his friends. For killing his comrades. I do not appreciate being punched in the face. It is one of the character's many weak points. Besides everywhere else, because he's a generally weak person. Even in a shield, that's a vulnerable spot too. This is just a graphic. You'd think you'd be able to use it, but no. I block things when you can just slash them first. I mean, when you think about it, really, the sword is just as good as the shield. It's just a bit thinner. It's a very thin shield. It just swing very fast. Yep, locks from the front. Somehow I figured that. That's how he was in the other game. Or when he was attacking. Which I'm guessing was how the other game was too. Oh, that's right. In the other game, he was only vulnerable when he was attacking. Even in the back, he still managed to block, if I remember correctly. But I still chose to attack from the back for some reason or another. I'm starting to wonder when I will get another character, or if I will. Seems like it. Seems like generally attacking diagonally on them causes their, or gives their AI some rather big issues. So, yeah. It's generally not a good idea to engage head-on on a lot of their opponents. Just wanted to check my volume. Yeah, you shouldn't be hearing it. Or volume. <clears throat> the 
see how loud it was, but yeah. I think you should be able to hear everything that's going on in the game pretty well. And still be able to hear me just fine, so it's not too bad. So far I don't know of any other way to heal besides gaining levels, but there probably are healing items that I just can't read, or ways to use it, you know. It's probably those items I'm taking while at the beginning, there's some sort of menu button that I don't know about. In fact, let's look around. Is that like throw away? Let's try a cheap item. That's cheap. I threw it away. Good to know that I threw it away on something small. I kind of predicted that. Alright, so how can we... You will take one of these items. I order you to. It's you, isn't it? I bet I can use my ceiling items. Alright. Wait. Alright, I can give him the same thing he has. You mean you can't use this? And there has to be another character. I swear it. I swear my entire reputation on it as a gamer. No, wait. Is that going a bit too far? Oh, well, too late. It all goes down the drain from here. I'm based on this one prediction. Everyone will hate me for eternity. Even though I may have made it in haste. Because I just don't know. They could pull that. I've seen crazier things where it just really feels like they're gonna do something and they don't. It's like, why did you make this menu like this? We're crazy like that. It's like Brave Select. The one guy. You expect someone else to appear, but in fact, this was just a ploy. No, I really think there's gonna be more characters. I'm gonna be playing this as another character. Someone better, hopefully. Even though this guy's not bad. He's got a nice little... Or nice big arc. Just a bit short range. I would like a spear guy or something. Someone with a bit of range to him. all it is, slimes. I'm gonna kill you anyways. Just because you annoy me. Your existence. Being where treasure should be. I find that offensive. I will carve the slime into treasure. I will turn it into jello pudding. No, not jello pudding. Just, just jello. Pudding's different. Kinda ruins that joke, I, su I suppose. Oh. When did they learn to do that? Suddenly you reach level 5 and you throw rocks. They have helmets, they have capes, they do a fiery punch. Seem pretty advanced. But it takes him until level 5 to get to the rock technology. Throwing a rock. I mean, monkeys and apes throw rocks too. You know, they figured that technology out. But, these little cobalt things, they, they take a bit longer, I suppose. Why not? And 
like in both games, or in both of these games, I can make those knights look rather pathetic, I must say. Oh, the other knights were kind of annoying in large groups. Oh, the largest group I ever met was three, and they were, you know, like a straight column. But I imagine if I'm in a large group of them, it would be rather annoying, just because of that triple shot they had. So I think a large group of these guys might get slightly annoying. However, less annoying than they were in the other game. This area is fun. Lots of combat. I can almost constantly swing my